I'll get you on the put your channel up. Will it automatically start, or do I need to like get back into the channel to make it start start? Well, it should just auto start. Also, I've started the stream, so all of this will be on there. So you should have muted it. Uh, no, I'm muted. Yeah, no, this conversation we're having right now. We're already live. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm always a dick like that. <laughs> okay. That's always, weird. always a dick like that. That's uh, so I'm on your channel, but I don't see any. It takes. It takes like a minute. Oh. All right. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Yeah. It'll start. My so. I don't understand the controls in the plaza. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Uh, so, like, th you gotta think of it more as an MMO than anything else. Well, the controls change in the plaza than yes. they do when you're playing the game. Yes, they do. Like, X uh, is to, to, to talk to people, but when you're in-game and you want to talk to a person the exact same way, it's B. For yeah. no apparent fucking reason. Yeah. And, like, it makes no sense whatsoever. Like, I, why, in God's name, would you ever change your control layout mid-game? That upsets me. Although I do love the ability to create your own character. I think that is completely badass. And I, like, I took so much time and effort to, like, okay, what race do I want to be? And I kept, like, weighing the pros and cons. I'm like, all right, if I'm Boo... You ended I'm up boo. being you ended up being a Saiyan. That's what everyone ends up being. Sure. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, it was I so... I do say it, but only because of the high attack power. That's the only reason I did it. Uh-huh. And you know what? Uh, I did the same thing, except it took me about 30 seconds to go, hey, you know what I'm going to fucking end up being? A Saiyan. But I made my Saiyan look super alien. Like, right now, he's wearing Raditz's clothing with Piccolo's turban, and he has super... Oh, those affect your stats, skin. you know. Oh, I know. Believe me. In fact, I, I'm wearing Raditz's stuff because uh, I have... My supers are really awesome, but my fighting, uh, my basic fighting and my strike supers is total shit, which is why I'm wearing that armor to make up for it. Okay. And it gives me shit tons of stamina. Oh, I've not leveled anything up besides my attack. Don't do that. You're gonna get fucked. You uh, will get fucked. I really, strangely enough, haven't. I don't know, man. Cell is stupid fast. Yeah, everyone keeps saying that. Like, he... Do not even bother trying to basic fight him. It's totally worthless. The only way you can get around him is to to throw those little key blasts to fuck with him, and then in, when he does the, you know, fuck your planet and does the Kamehameha, you get to the side, which is super easy to avoid, and then you hit him with, like, a Gallic gun. By the way, fucking get Vegeta as your mentor. The Gallic gun is so awesome. I just did. It's, it's, it's super fast, it's efficient, it's quicker than the Kamehameha, but does more damage. It is the best. Is it the best? All the around. Nothing's gonna ever keep it down. I'm glad you instantly saw where I was going with that. I did. But actually, Vegeta is the really good trainer to have first. But. He is. You have to, like, beat them in store. It's weird, like, because they don't all appear right away. It's actually based on level, too. Oh, is it? Yeah, like if your level five Piccolo shows up. Oh, okay. Like so, because I had like Raditz, and then like Piccolo show or like Piccolo showed up, and then Raditz shows up. Yep. Um. Yeah, so I've definitely uh, switched back and forth between like I who the fuck was it? I didn't want Raditz, so I was just like, fuck this. Fuck Raditz. <laughs> yeah, fuck He's Raditz. Raditz. Yeah. Uh, He's officially as strong as a fucking Cyberman. Is he really? You know? Yeah, no, they say that. Like, when they first come to Earth and they grow Cybermen in, like, 30 seconds, they're like, each of these is strong as Raditz. And, like, you're like, wow, that's pretty fucked. And then you think, wow, Raditz is, like, the worst. Yeah. Like, like, on a planet of Saiyans, 
he is equivalent to a cultivated human that they made in 30 seconds. You're yeah. Like, wow, fuck Raditz. <laughs> Why didn't they just send a seed? I know, right? Like, they could have just... Or three <laughs> seeds! They, and he's, like, made more badass than uh, Goku and Piccolo. Like, at the time. So they could have just sent a shit ton of seeds everywhere. And, like, way more efficient than those little fucking pods. Yeah, and dude! They, and, and, you know what the crazy thing is? Uh, seeds, like, actually hold up really well in space. Yes, they do. Like, that's yeah, scientifically do. proven. Yes, that's true. I'm so not like, even making up facts they, they right now. Been way easier. Like Saiyans are fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you wouldn't have had like nearly the awesome. Arc. Oh yeah, absolutely true. Well, they even make fun of it in like Team Four Star, where they're like, you know, like, oh, what's that guy? Oh, he's two Raditzes. <laughs> Like, it's a form of measurement and how bad <laughs> someone is. <laughs> oh, he measures at exactly 0.5 raddits. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> <laughs> 0. 0.5 raddits. So what, he's a guy with a shotgun? Yeah. <laughs> the farmer? Yeah. The farmer uh, you know, uh, there, there, there was a fighting game I've seen before that you could play as him. What? Yeah. Oh, I, uh, did you, I have not found all the Dragon Balls. I've only found one. Uh, I've done a mission that you can, um, that you have to find all seven before you can leave. No, that's not it. Oh, Unfortunately, that's... I thought that too, and I'm like, ooh, awesome, I have all the Dragon Balls. You do not have any Dragon Balls. Oh. Um, so... I found mine by accident. How do you find Dragon Balls? When I was like, well, I'm definitely not going to get a good grade on this one, I might as well explore so I did that, and it was the one where you're preparing for the attack for the Saiyans, and you go, and you're fighting on Kami's lookout. Um, after you beat them, don't go through the portal. Go inside the lookout, and there's, a, there's another time patroller there, yeah. and if you do a really good job, you can get a Dragon Ball. Yeah, I beat the shit out of that guy. Yeah, that is a real Dragon Ball. But, like, the parallel quest where you get to, you have to gather all the Dragon Balls before it freezes forces and all that, that is nothing. Aww. That is nothing. So I've only found the one inside Kami's Lookout. But I looked up online. How did I fail? <laughs> I'll be honest, I haven't been looking. It still hasn't loaded for me for some reason. I don't know. Hit F5. <laughs> Have you tried turning yeah, it off and on? But yeah, so like, uh, that's the only one I've ever found. Really? Yep. So I gotta, I gotta look, I gotta look, uh, look up how to do it. The the wishes are weird. They're super weird. Like some of them are totally useless. Like what? One of them, like, uh, costumes. You get a costume. Okay, I wish to be taller? Like, can I... Is there, like, a... I wish I was a different race? You wish you were a baller? You wish yeah. I had a girl that <laughs> would call her? Yeah. You wish I had a rap in a hat with a bat? No. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> well, no, like, no, like, because there's, like, you can be the Frieza race. I've seen the Frieza race yes. walking around. Yes. Is that a yeah, wish? One of the wishes is that, is that you can respec. And you can change, you can change your character. Well, like... Because you couldn't pick being the Frieza race, and I'm just wondering oh, if... Oh, you can't? No! Oh, well, that was a choice for me. I just never thought about it. Oh, no, I only had human, boo, and, uh... Uh, I Saiyan. Frieza. No, I never had a Frieza. Oh. Really? Yeah! Maybe... Maybe I didn't have that choice, and I just, like... I never actually chose it, so maybe later it was just like, oh, no, you can't do that. Huh. I don't know. Oh, I'll just I'll try that next time. Because you can make multiple characters. Yeah. Maybe it was like a pre order thing. That next, but I was thinking about being Boo. Just Boo? I might be a Boo. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Like a really, like a really tall Boo? Like a super skinny Boo? So, I don't know. Boo? I don't know how skinny Boo can be. He got a total gym. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate this. I hate this mission. So 
Like, what did I do? Like it's, like, it's like, kill 20 enemies? So annoying. Well, and it's just, like, you failed, and it's, like, I had, like, damn near full health, and, like, I, I don't think, like, the other two fucking died. Well, right now, on the stream, I can see you fighting Raspberry. Uh, I, I, he, yeah, it, I don't know, they're fucking... Uh, how so, far behind I am. I, I don't know, they're fucking... All of the names are, like, fucking interchangeable. Well, you know, they're all fruits, right? Like... Yes, I understand that concept. I know I'm just saying, and most like really, that raspberry is a fruit. <gasps> Holy shit! You're right. Well, no, they're all like food and or like fruit. It, it like <laughs> all the all the like nobodies. Like the generals have like individual names, which I get perk if you're a general. Would you get to have your own goddamn name? This is a pun in Dodoria. They're not fruit. But like apple, raspberry, blueberry, yeah. low counts because he's a little shit. <laughs> I do wonder if like how updated the stream is or not. I have no idea. Uh, you're not that far behind. So you're about to kill raspberry. It looks like you just took out like half his health. Yeah, I can't tell. <laughs> Eh. Well, like, Raspberry Fuck keeps Goldo. coming back. So. Fuck Goldo. Get that little shit. I, I, I just keep killing Raspberry and fucking. Oh, now he's little. Now he's running away. Little bitch. Yeah, you're, you're about 30 to 45 seconds behind. Damn. Okay. Um. It's that bad. Yeah. I thought of being on the mobile app would be better. Like, there's. It's uh, no frills, you know, like just. Oh, you're watching on the mobile app. Yeah, I thought it would be better, but maybe it's not. No, it's pretty much the same fucking thing. I don't know. I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I don't know. I uh, I'm not your fucking <laughs> Twitch mentor. Uh, I always pick Vegeta first. He's the Gallic gun. That's so fucking useful. Like I had that way before they had the Kamehameha. I. Also, I mean, I have that as well. Uh, the Kamehameha I actually unlocked through a side mission. Oh, damn you. I had to pay mine. I, I might have bought it, but I had, like, a ton of extra money. Yeah. Like, I had a ton of money, and I was like, oh, Kamehameha buying it. Don't care how useless it is. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's, that's what everybody does. That's my exact thing. I'm like, well, I don't know how useful it is, but fucking want it. But it's like, it's like, <laughs> I, I'm it's waiting, staple. I'm waiting to like, go Super Saiyan. Oh yeah, that's, I don't know who unlocks that or what unlocks that, but I'm, I want it. I want it bad. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if it's through a mentor or if it's through, the, the, uh, the, yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I'm imagining at some point you go Super Saiyan. Oh, absolutely. Because fucking, it's in the series, like everyone eventually goes Super Saiyan. Oh Yeah. Like, fucking, which, which the, yeah, the children start going, like, they're just born Super That's Saiyan. That's the dumbest, stupid thing ever. I was so upset when I first saw that. I'm like, oh, well, better go Super Saiyan. And I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Well, no, I love, I love no. how, like, just upset Vegeta is at that moment. Yeah, he should be. And he's like, I've risked my life to go Super Saiyan, and yeah. it's a toy for you. Yeah. So stupid. And well, it wasn't like, I mean, when Goku did it, it was like fulfilling a prophecy thousands of years in the making. And, well, and you have to remember, though, like, it, like, it made, it kind of, if you look at it as, like, they are basically being raised, first off, they're half human, well, like, Gohan is fucking not even half human, He's half Saiyan, a quarter human, and a quarter demon. How do you figure that? Ah, uh, because his grandfather's the king of demons. What? Go what on. What are you talking about? Chi Chi's father is a demon. Or Chi Chi? No, no not, she's no, he's not the Ox King. Yeah, the Ox King is a demon. No, he's not. He's a dude. He's just a guy. He's a demon. 
He is not. Look it up. He is by no means a demon. They even call Gohan half Saiyan. He is half Saiyan. Not, not... No. <laughs> okay, you're right. They, so the half Saiyan is enough for the debate, but the half human is. Uh, to which I say bullshit. That Ox King is absolutely human. No, like he Ox... trained under Roshi. He was a student. He's just a guy. He's not a guy. He's a demon. Baloney. Look it up. Baloney. Sir. Look it up. All right, I will look this up in the Daisenshu later. Cause no, I, look I, it up I, now. Look it up now. Fan. Fan. Freaking. I'll do that. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that your character? <laughs> what, just how retarded he looks? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's like, I forgot that you were as Ginyu, so you were like switch bodies. I hadn't seen your real character yet. Oh, dude, that all, at all times, at all times, I try, like, the moment that anyone tries to, like, sit there and be like, oh, you know what we should do? We should, uh, allow people to fucking customize a character. My first option that I always pick is, hey, you know what I should do? Make him look as stupid as I can. You know what he looks like? He looks exactly like young Roshi. Aww. Well, I am a pervert, so that fits. And he's also called Drinky Smurf, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is just Grizz. He's uh, he's pretty weird looking right now. And he's got like those eyes, like the, they're just dots for eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and he always looks like he's not amused. Like, I am not amused. Face constantly. And I love that. Oh, now Ginyu's evil. He's got that super the goddamn dark... Oh, I hate that shit. Where you get close and they do that little sphere thing around them. Yeah. Oh, I hate that move. And everybody has it. Except you. Yeah, which is bullshit. Like, Cell does it constantly. Frieza does it. Ginyu does it. Literally every bad guy does it. Hey, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to throw... Uh... Simpsons did it. No. I hate you. We're gonna we're gonna throw another fucking bad guy in the mix, but uh, and everyone's health is gonna be healed except for uh, yours. Oh, that's such like the Napa thing. Like the first two battles, total nothing, no problem. The third one, you're by yourself, and by the way, he's back up to full health, and he fights cheap. Oh, okay. and Vegeta's in here for no reason. I know. Oh my god, it was like oh, and I finally beat Napa. And I'm like woo, beat Napa. And I'm like oh yeah, Vegeta. I'm like oh. Fuck. Yeah. Although that said, that is the, the great ape thing is so stupid. Once you figure out, you can just grab him by the tail and throw him. You and can also... Like one hit oh, my guy was like had so much attack power at that point. I literally just like beat the living shit out of him just by punching him. <laughs> <laughs> because like I, I literally have like 50 attack, which is like way more than you're supposed to have right now. For real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have like no, no stats in anything else. Oh, but, I'm, like, super balanced. I've got, like, 13 here, 18 there. Oh, no, no, no. I have 50 attack. So, <laughs> uh, literally, it, it's just, like, straight up, I, I, like, I, like, if you notice when I punch something, it's just, like, their health plummets. I guess so. Shit. Maybe that was the, uh, ideal thing. I did find a weird, I found a really weird Z-Soul. After beating Vegeta super well, uh, where uh, basically just like, you know, screw this planet, uh, Soul, and uh, it, you uh, kill game times it, three. <laughs> yeah, kinda, but uh, <laughs> no, I actually have that move. No, it's uh, it's what it does is it ridiculously boosts your Gallic gun, but every time you use it, it it takes a huge chunk out of your life. But I have literally beaten people with one Gallic gun. And it's not even an ultimate move. It's just a super move. And it just annihilates people. But you can keep, like, when you're at, like, zero health, you can just keep spamming it. Because you can't go any lower. And so I would just, you know, sit there waiting for people, like, nope, Gallic gun, nope, Gallic gun, Gallic gun, Gallic gun, Gallic gun, move, move, Gallic gun, fire. <laughs> it, was so, it was so bad. 
But, uh, man, it takes a huge chunk out of your health. Oh, God. Like, it, it's so weird. Like, it was fucking... Get, I don't remember, was it like, get you this fucking ridiculous, like, the change back and forth? Oh, absolutely. Totally. <sighs> oh, finally, the frog. It, it, it isn't like give you in like every chapter you see this damn frog. Yeah. <laughs> like even up to the boo saga, you see the frog hopping around. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's just fantastic. I'm very happy about that. At one point, I was like, oh, I'm going to stop at, like, 25 and, like, boost some of the other stats up a bit. And now I'm just like, nah. I'm almost exactly 45 seconds behind. I just counted it. Oh, really? Because you said, like, the frog thing. And I was like, whoop, all right, let me start counting. You're an <laughs> asshole. What? I can count and talk at the same time? I can multitask? I think. The anime is actually really well done. It is. It is surprising. They actually put some production value into this. Yeah. This is actually probably the best Z game that they've ever released. I, mm, I don't think it's that, but only because it has. It's doing a lot. It does a lot more than other games. Like if I had to say just fighting games, I would say probably Budokai Tenkaichi. What other no, Z sorry, game? Budokai Three. Budokai 3 is the best fighting, DBZ fighting game. There was a, there was two Z games on the Game Boy Advance that were fantastic. Uh, I don't think I played those. They were RPGs. Really? Yeah, they were awesome. I really enjoyed them. Um, well, the cool thing about Budokai was that you could, it wasn't just a fighting game, you had to, there was kind of an RPG element where you could fly around the map and if you held left trigger, you, you literally crossed the map in seconds. And so you, could, you had to roll around the map a bunch of times to find all the stuff. But it just felt so awesome to fly at that level and, it, you know, at, and at speed. And it was, oh, man, it just felt so good. Wow, this guy really likes to block, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, it, it even gets worse. Wait until you fight Hercule. Oh, God, No! Oh, yeah. Oh, Why would I ever fight Hercule? I actually lost to Hercule, which I think means that I, I, I need to die. You're the worst human? Yes, pretty much. You, you shouldn't be called a Saiyan? It, it, goes, it goes me, Hitler, and then, like... Anyone else that's ever else. met... Anybody. anybody. And, yeah, that's ever even met Hercule? Yes. Yes. Wow. You lost to Hercule? How he much did. does he block? Uh, all the goddamn time. And all he does is just little key blast to annoy you. And it's Hercule so can't annoying. even launch a key blast. Well, yeah, I, won't, I don't want to ruin it for you, so I'll let you discover why he can do that. I'm, I'm guessing he's uh, possessed by this asshole. Yes. Yeah. I, they already kind of show that in the intro. Yeah, he, he becomes, he has all this super dark energy, so he can fly and do key blasts and all this stuff. His, his supers are terrible, but uh, he can fly around and he's just annoying. He's just fucking annoying. That's all he is. He blocks all the time, and then he does little key blasts. It's, oh, it just sucks. <laughs> so all I did was like get next to him and then do like uh, block breakers. That's all I did. And it, it took forever. And then I didn't realize, but Goku had lost and Cell got in there. And I'm like, oh shit, now I have to deal with Cell too. Fuck. So I, I still had to kill Hercule, but Cell was also there trying to kill me. And I was like, oh shit, okay. Because <laughs> Cell is actually no joke. Well, yeah, Cell is fucking ridiculously powerful. Yes, yes he is. And hit like at one point, I saw him doing a Kamehameha. I'm like, haha, I'll just block it with mine. And, I did a, and I'm like... Pew pew with my Kamehameha and who's just like, <laughs> like Oh god <laughs> Oh my everything <laughs> <laughs> It was terrible. It's like it's like tiny little water thing and it's like 
boom, Niagara Falls. <laughs> oh, man. But I think I really want to, I think if I get to the Cell Saga and I beat him, I can train under him because I really want that perfect Kamehameha that he has. Under- it says in the Kamehameha that it can be charged for three levels, but I don't know how that works. Really? I don't know how that works yet. I'm trying to figure that out. You, have you, like, held it down? No, I did that, but it only, no matter what you do, it only uses the one uh, one bar, one segment of one bar of the key blast. Huh. Maybe you just need to, like, purchase additional levels. Yeah, well, I thought, you know, I haven't done that yet, but I think I need to. Yeah. But, yeah, if, as soon as you can, definitely get uh, Vegeta as a teacher. I, I did that. That was, like, the first thing I did when I started playing. So you already have the Gallic gun. Sure. You should definitely equip that shit. Uh, customize. Change skill set. Get rid of the stupid after image thing. I didn't, I never had that. Does it does it do anything? I don't even know. It came, he came with it. <laughs> Bundle. <laughs> oh. How oh, is the Kaioken? Uh, I use that. It is pretty good. Uh, it like if you read the description, it has like a huge downside to it. Oh. Uh, it, oh, like, if you use it, your defense goes way fucking down. Really? Yeah. Oh. You like, your, use your stamina, too? Uh, I would have to, like, actually fucking read it. Um, oh, I never do regular Goku. I always do Goku, like, without this shirt, because for whatever reason... Because it just like, makes the- you hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, just, yeah. Just gets you horny as shit. Take it off. So, when I actually made this guy (laughs) the first time, I I changed the shirt color as close to his flesh as I could, and it actually made the shirt see-through. And it's like, (laughs) they actually programmed that into the game to make a see-through shirt. And I'm like, well played, Dragon Ball team. Well played. Well, for a long time, I just wasn't wearing a shirt. I'd like, because that beginning uniform doesn't do anything, I just didn't wear it. Like, I had pants... And that's it. So well, he looked like a Muay Thai fighter. It was pretty awesome. Oh, I was walking around in my underwear. <laughs> yeah, that too. No, I, I, I really don't. Like, if you give me the option to, like, customize a character, he's going to either look mentally retarded or, uh, like, just awful. Just, like, a terrible, terrible human being. New enemy. So uh, you've probably already done it by now, but uh, just uh, for shits and giggles, the third part of the um, Vegeta quest is fucking impossible because uh, they have the world's worst translation. Oh. And it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, so you you beat him twice, and you're like, okay, I got a new thing. That's awesome. And then the third thing is like, and he says, well, anybody any warrior can beat anybody in a fight, but you must use your mind. Now, bring me the strong... I'm the strongest on Earth. And that's it. Oh, so you have to bring him the soul, I'm the strongest on Earth? Yeah, I guess, but they didn't say, like, at all, like, where to get that, how to get that. that oh, it's a, it's a drop. Soul. I yeah, have I it. I didn't know that. <laughs> I already had. It's a drop from him. Yes, from Attack from the Saiyans, yes. Yeah, but you I, have to do it in a certain way. If you don't beat the Cybermen first, you'll never get it. It's actually that soul's really fucking good. I don't even I don't even know what it does. Like, oh, uh, after a certain point, your key doesn't. I haven't equipped now. It's that good. After a certain point, your uh, your key like uh, that your health falls to a certain point, your key stops depleting entirely. Really? Yeah. So it's, so when it activates, you can just spam fucking... Um, Which is what I do. I spam the shit out of Keyblade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can just spam fucking, like, whatever. So, like, what, whenever I get low, I'm just like, Come on, Mia! Kamehameha! Kamehameha! Kyle Ken times three! Kamehameha! <laughs> That's awesome. But, yeah, like, 
I kept doing it where I would focus on Raditz and focus on Nappa. And so I wouldn't have to fight the Cyberman. I would just kill those guys first, and I thought I would get a good grade. No, not at all. And uh, you have to do it in a way so they kill the Cybermen first, then the real characters. Then, when you want to take out Vegeta, uh, an event happens where the two other ones come and you have to fight them again. If that doesn't happen, I don't think it even drops. Yeah, I, I got it to drop my first time. Son of a bitch. I played it like no shit more than ten times. Oh, really? Before I figured out, yeah, before I figured out that I had to kill Cybermen first. Like, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> These guys do not want to let me get near them. Wow, those key blasts are super annoying. Yeah, they really are super fucking annoying. They really are, and that's all they are. That's all they are. It's just, it's just an, an annoyance thing. Yeah, and they're not doing that much damage. They don't even take energy for fuck's sake. Yeah. Ridiculous. And like, all they're really doing is like stopping me from doing anything. Until oh, yeah. the next asshole can get right next to me and yeah. fucking do damage. Yeah, that's why I had such a problem with the Cybermen. Because there's a billion of them. And that's why I had such a problem, I guess, doing that one. But it, your, attack, your basic attack is ridiculous right now. So, like, you should just, like, spam as much physical stuff as you possibly can. You mean exactly what I'm doing at all times? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. that thing you're doing. That, oh, I should keep doing that thing oh, I'm doing? Oh, you're pretty close to dying, though. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to go and equip a uh, health pack. Yep. And, uh, because you I... Can't, you can't equip them now, you can just use them. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, he died, that sucks. Yeah, what's, <laughs> I, what's up with that, though? What, not being able to uh, use pots? Well, like, I kind of like that idea, where you have limited pots that you can use in your in your battle formation... And like, so that you can't just be like Fallout, where like, oh, I'm about to die. I'm gonna eat three thousand fruits and go up to full health again. That's bullshit. You're At bullshit. least this, we're like, hey, you happen to have these in your pockets, and that's all you get. I kind of like that. At least it makes more so sense. So how do how do I get more missions for my trainers? You have to keep beating them and then uh, level up. How do I beat? How do I fight them again? Uh, you might have to be a certain level or advance in the story a certain point. Uh. I don't know. I do know that if you try to go to another master, you'll lose what you got with Vegeta. Whatever. I, I'm okay with Vegeta. I don't know. He's a pretty good guy to start out with. No, I mean, I'm okay, like, having Vegeta. Oh, fair enough. Wow, you only had 10 parallel quests. By the time I even looked at parallel quests for, like, the first time, I think I, there was, like, 17 missions. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I hadn't looked. I think I'm, like, a level 25 right now. Oh, no, I, I like, parallel quests are fucking awesome. They are. I really love the whole what-if scenarios from the story ones, though. Oh, yeah, like, well, my favorite is that, like, you go, so you fight, like... With the Saiyans attacking Earth. Yes. That was all... I was really happy about that. And it's like... Well, I even like the parallel quest... I mean, not the parallel quest. The story quest where, like... Uh, they showed you, like, the, the worst-case scenario. And they had, like, both Nappa and Vegeta in their ape form. Like, oh, wow. Why didn't they do that from the beginning? That seems like such an obvious thing that they should have done. <laughs> and Goku's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Like, super duper fucked. Oh, he was, like, ultra fucked. And, like, uh, Kirillin using his Kienzan to finally cut the tail, and I'm like, God damn it, that should have happened in the fucking story. That's not what happened. It was, like, Fat Guy. Like, the only yeah, time he Yajirobe was... Yeah, Gajirobe came out of nowhere in his, like, only appearance in DBZ until the Android Saga. No, he... I thought, like, he appears occasionally, says something stupid, and then, like, falls into the background normally. Pretty much... Well, like, twice. Period. Like, like, they make fun of him by calling him Bean Daddy. Because, like, all he does is give Sensu beans. He's like, hey, Goku, I hear you. We need some beans. Here's some beans. Thanks, Yajirobe. And that's it. All right. And then he leaves. Well, that's yeah, it. doesn't he live with, like, Kame or something? He lives with Korin the cat. Okay. So he lives on the tower thing. Yes, he lives in Korin's tower. Yeah. 
so I guess. he has nothing to do with it. Yes. And, yeah. All he has is his beans. That's it. Yeah, it sounds... Because he's fat. <laughs> well, I and mean... They, they feed you for like a week. Each bean feeds you up for a week. Really? Yeah, that's what they say. And then later on, they're like, oh, by the way, it fixes all wounds and everything. Which is really stupid. Because like... So in the beginning... Uh, they, they, they have sensu beams, and they want to give one to Goku after the Raditz battle, and he's got a huge fucking hole in his chest. And uh, he even says, like, I don't think a sensu's going to fix that. And you're like, yeah, that makes sense. But then later on in the Android saga, Yamcha fucking gets skewered by uh, Dr. Jiro exactly the same way that Goku was, and they give him a sensu beam, and he's like, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> But if Goku had done that, he wouldn't have learned uh, Kaioken. I know, I'm just saying, like... And Kaioken, so, oh. and Kaioken, if you look at it, is basically the step to going Super Saiyan. Is it, though? Yeah! I mean, that's kind of him power learning to harness power and powering up. Vegeta didn't? Yeah, but Vegeta watched Goku do it. Oh, yeah, that's also bullshit, where, like... Oh, by the way, I had this battle on Earth, and now suddenly I can sense power levels for no apparent reason. Well, I think it was like one of those things that it's like, oh, you can do that? Yeah, huh. but like he somehow figured it out by sitting in a hospital bed, not bed, but pod. Well, and then, and then like, boom, yeah. And how many like, months oh, was way, he? How many levels. months was he there? And how many planets did he fucking? No, like three days, like two days. Well, it was nothing. Okay, he's a fucking military genius. What the fuck do you want me to say? I don't know. It's just like, there's just some really huge plot holes. Well, that like, after you, like, okay. grow up and you look at it again, you're like, wow, that's really dumb. Yeah, and here's the thing. Sensing <laughs> fucking power levels is uh, the first thing. They teach fucking uh, Gohan's girlfriend to do it in, an, in one episode. Yes. And she's the, she's the daughter of fucking... Hercule. Although she has does have a fighting background, so at least So does Go so does Vegeta! I know, and that's why that's the only reason your thing makes sense, is that he does have a fighting background. That's the only reason. Dude, so <laughs> that <laughs> so <laughs> that, How do you throw again? I can't remember. I don't know. It's like two button combos. It's like both it's, the shoulder buttons. They have weird bullshit. they have really weird controls. Like to descend is the yeah. It's so weird. It's, it's so it's weird. It's not good. What? It is not good. It is not. Descending and ascending are stupid. Like A is for ascend. Okay, like you know. That no, it's play. jump. The jump attack is ascend. Yeah, at least I get that. That at least I you know A for jump is across the board recognized. You know, in like every game. But no, uh, to descend, uh, clicking the left thumbstick. No, 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 no. I, I don't get it, but whatever. What the fuck am I waiting for? There's, like, no enemies left. Uh, use your scouter. Left D-pad. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, suck dick. <laughs> I'm not the one with the timer running out, Sunny Jim. Sunny Jim? Oh, there we go. Freeze his spaceship. Do it. How rude! Your face is rude. How rude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frieza. So what do you think of the new movie that's going to be coming out? Uh, it's, it's not like Battle of the Gods 2, though. It is Battle of the Gods 2. It's literally Battle of the Gods 2, revival of F. Or Frieza. Yeah, why is Frieza in it though? Like, it's... Uh, because some uh, the story, from what I can understand, is someone gathered the Dragon Balls and revived Frieza. Okay, on but, purpose. but why? Like, the Frieza hasn't been important in twenty fucking years. True, but apparently, from what I can understand, is uh, just has Goku has now has a god form. So does Frieza. Somehow, Frieza has god-level powers, either from uh, Beerus, who just wants to see what Goku can do, 
So he revives his uh, worst enemy and gives him god powers. I wouldn't or call that his, of, what? I wouldn't call it his worst enemy. He had to fulfill a goddamn prophecy thousands of years old just to stay on par with this guy. So yeah, I'm gonna call that yeah. And he fucking lost against Cell. Yeah, and his son won. Yes. And I've also heard people say that the real Super Saiyan is, uh, what is it, four? Fuck four. No, what the the theory is Super Saiyan four is when you finally gain control of, like, if you look at the way that they talked about, like, going Super Saiyan or whatever. Yeah. Um, it was like gaining control of the dragon or the the ape guess and so it, it, it like it, he's not even the first super saiyan no Bro broly was and broly was exactly wasn't, he wasn't even a super saiyan though probably was, yeah, was. no he wasn't bro there that was, was a, there was actually a uh movie that came out when broly learned how to go super saiyan oh well all right if you're talking about that time travel bardock bullshit okay fine yeah broly it was uh he was Bardock, never. Yeah. He was never actually a super like. He was never actually a super saiyan. It was like he he was just like. It, Wait, what are you talking about? I'm talking about uh, that episode of Bardock thing where uh, Bardock fights basically an ancient, uh, le in, like Frieza's ancestor, and goes super saiyan. So technically, he would be the first super saiyan. Uh. I don't remember the thing about Broly not being a Super Saiyan. Well, bro there's three Broly movies. I know. That's ridiculous. Especially that last one, Bio Broly. Like, yeah. Shit. Although that last movie, Fusion Reborn, was pretty awesome. Yeah, Fusion Reborn, like, I actually really like. It's one of the best. Oh, actually, it's not the, it's not the last one, is it? It's the one with, um... Uh... <sighs> fuck, where Trunk gets his sword. Oh God, yeah. That was I did not like that at all. Uh, that one wasn't even really. It, yeah, that was like during a Toriyama's "Give Me Money, Please" phase. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. No, you're absolutely right. And it's so funny because like Fusion Reborn was so awesome. I thought Fusion Reborn was after Trunk's sword. See, that's what I thought too. But when I checked it out, apparently, uh, I don't. It's not history of Trunks. It's um, like the fuck, Legend of Trunk's sword or something. Yeah, it's it's something stupid. It's that one that I think is the actual newest before Battle of Gods. Yeah. Which is stupid because if you look at Fusion Reborn, the animation is like top notch. It's so much and better, it, and then you look at fucking. <laughs> Uh, I know right? Tr how Trunks gets his sword. The story of Trunks' stupid sword, and it's like, and you're like, oh god, was this done in the '80s? No, nope. exactly. It's the newest, and it's like, wow, that's sad. When was Fusion Reborn done? Uh, a real long time ago. <laughs> I don't know, like, what production value, how that dip so bad, but oh well. Money, please. <laughs> Money, please. Money. Did you know they came back for another season, speaking of Parks and Rec? Really? In January to February, they no, I had... it was done. Yeah, last season, when that would yeah. have made sense? No, 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 I mean, they literally just fin they had the series finale. Yeah, like this year? Like two weeks ago. Yeah, I thought last season was the end, because, you know, that would have oh, fucking... Oh, yeah. Because... No, that made a lot of sense, and then they're like, nope, money grab. Oh, dude, yeah, and I was just like, I, I was like, literally, hey, hey. yay. Although none. that said, I, you know, more episodes with uh, Ron Swanson, I, I, it's hard for me to be like, no, I don't want to see more Ron Swanson. Yeah, right? It's it's very hard for me to say that. <laughs> I saw a black, a black grill in the other yeah. day. <laughs> it's 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 funny because it's not that hard to recreate a Dragon Ball character though. Oh, it's super easy. It's, I, it's crazy. It, they they really did go directly out of their fucking way to make sure that you could recreate every single fucking. 
I mean, to the you know, people want to be those characters, so it makes sense. People, you know, that's they want to live the dream and be these characters. So, yeah, makes sense. Holy shit, you really do have fifty in basic attacks. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, really? You put one into stamina. Stamina. Yeah. Really? I'm gonna bring that's gonna every- be like that is gonna make all the difference. I'm gonna bring everything up to ten, and then move that up to a hundred. God, man. Fifty basic attack. Even they're like, "Holy shit! What the fuck?" Yeah, no, that's that's, yeah, no, that's how you break a fucking game. <laughs> I have a ultimate Frieza uh, unlocked, like full power Frieza. And I feel like he should, like, no matter who I'm against, he should just dominate. Yes, like, we see going... the chat. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's, it's, uh... It, what? It, 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 it's on a delay. The chat, it's, everything's on a delay, so that's why, uh, like... <sighs> The, the well, I knew stream... the video was on a delay. I didn't think the chat was. The, no, no, no. Well, the thing is that... So, the video's on the delay, so they're seeing us 45 seconds later, and then right. they type a response, so they're not seeing... So, basically, it, when you type something in chat, you're not really probably going to see a response for, like, two or three minutes. Just It's just the I'm weird... I'm on the ball here. No, 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 no. But, yeah, if you... It, it's weird, just, like... Because if you type it in chat, you're responding to something we said like a minute ago and then we yeah. respond some to something you said in chat with our voice yeah which Twitch is not exactly real time yeah no not at all i wish yeah <laughs> wouldn't that be great Ooh, nice combo over to jace fuck jace fuck your face friggin space australia little shit <laughs> it's a small and red He's like a miniature Kool-Aid man. You should probably type yes into the chat. Oh, fair enough. I kind of hate these gate systems. Yeah, it was awful. I like, especially right there in that level when you're fighting that right after you beat Nappa. You're like, oh wait, so there's two different gates. I keep going through the wrong gate, and I keep like. I had to use my scouter to go to the right gate just so I don't fuck up. And then I had to lock on, and then I had to get closed, and I had to hit B. Like, why? Why are there so many things? You could have made the gate just like in the city with a big giant fucking wall to transition into the next instance. It's not that tough. Or, you know, uh, you could have just made it that... They don't explain that you have to lock onto it when they introduce gates. No, they do, but they, it's, like, they just kind of gloss over that. Well, no, they say you have to fly up to it and select it, I think. But, like, it's not ever really discussed that you have to lock onto it. Fair enough. Poor Popo. He's always, he's always going to be known as the blackface character. He, well, he is, frankly. I mean, if it's like if you go back to Toriyama's black characters, they're like super racist. <laughs> Dude, Japan in general is super fucking racist. Fair enough. Dude, Fair enough. Like it, it, it it's we. You, you can't really ask certain cultures to be like. It's hard for people to be like culturally sensitive about something that they've had no exposure to. Like, and also, blackface is only offensive in America, which, as dumb as that sounds... I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, because as dumb as... There's no way. Like, in England, you're telling me that blackface is not... Blackface was not a thing that was ever, like, a thing in England. It was not done as an insult in England, and, like... It, like, it was only really done in the 20s, like, the way it was done in the 20s here was, like, not really done over there, and, like, 
and every it, it's it doesn't have the same connotation in fucking Europe that it does over here. Uh. Also, um, like you know, fucking Asia, they don't really have that many black people. This is very true. It's very very true. Well, no, I think Black Krillin is just styling. <laughs> That's just good taste. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, common sense. Right, but does he, have, does he have, like, the blackface thing with, like, the giant red lips and things like that that Toriyama does? I don't know. I haven't seen Black Krillin. But, uh... God, like, I hope so. <laughs> I don't know, because, like... I like. I mean, definitely a lot of those. Is characters. it sad that every time that I, I'm in a Dragon Ball conversation and someone says "just saying," I want them to say "just saying"? Oh, absolutely. I can't. I have to stop myself from doing that every time. Yeah, because you're an asshole for doing it. I can't help it. No, no, no. Watch... I'm not saying you're wrong, and I'm saying that <laughs> I also want to do it. <laughs> I'm just saying we're assholes for doing it. <laughs> Well, I can't, I can't help it. I'm a huge fan of, like, DBZ at Bridge, and I'm watching it constantly, so I can't help it be like, I'm just saying. Like, can't help it. Like, every time I think about it, I think of Vegeta saying that. That and Krillin just being like, Quack, Space Duck! What? Can't help it. You've never seen TV... You've never seen that. You've tried to show it to me once, and it was, like, the worst episode. Oh, God. There's so... There are absolutely amazing shit did i ever that... did i ever tell you um about my experience with outlaw star i love outlaw star okay so yes outlaw Thank star you. is an amazing fucking anime uh yeah. a friend of mine who at the time was a massive fucking what that wasn't no i just saw a like, super nice combo you had uh who was a massive fucking stoner uh, told me I had to get into Outlaw Star. It was fucking fantastic. And the episode that he showed me to get into was, uh, you know, that episode when they're stuck on when it's just the chick and the robot are stuck on the ship. Yes. And they, oh, that's a terrible one. Good God. He said it was the best episode of the series. What? <laughs> and that it it perfectly demonstrated everything that was right in the show. And, that could not be any more wrong. Okay. On so many levels. And here's the thing. Even the stuff that's right in that episode and the things that he was trying to, like, demonstrate to me about why that was, like, valid and kind of good in that one particular instance, uh, like, you had to be, like, super fucking familiar with the show to get because it's like, that's sort of a late episode. And it if is. you don't know who the fuck those characters are, none of that makes any fucking impact. Yeah. If anything, I mean, if you really wanted to have a one-off episode that didn't really matter, but it was still showed, like, the comedy and everything about the thing, do the onset episode. Do the goddamn Hot Springs episode that wasn't shown on Cartoon Network. Do a bunch of fucking actual good episodes. Oh, yeah. Or, Absolutely. like, maybe something that, like, doesn't have... The space Race. The Space Race one. That's awesome. a two-parter. What? A space Race is two parts. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. you're right. I only, I only know that because it's at the end of, uh, like, a DVD pack. Oh, yeah, you're right. And oh. a friend of mine, uh, actually, he lent me that, and I watched the first set, and I was just so infuriated by that point. With Outlaw Star, I'm like, I just can't make myself care. All right, well, I'm I'm gonna have to find a better one for you because there's. Oh, no I've watched it all. Into it. I've watched it all. What? Outlaw Star. No, 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 no. I, th yeah, with the same theme of what we're talking about, I need to find you a better episode to see of uh, of uh, DBC abridged. Oh yeah, because I feel like it's a detriment not to be into this because it's so fucking funny. In fact. Uh, it's so famous and so good. Voice number eight on this game is DBZ Abridged. It's one of the guys. 
like they're actually becoming so good voice act. They're such good voice actors. They're actually in this. Game. So, um, oh, what was it? Kill the Kill. I watched yes. the dub of. Yes. They literally ruined it. I haven't seen the dub yet, so I'm. Have I'm you watched all of the sub? Of course. They completely changed everything. Like that lesbian thing at the end? Uh, it wasn't that far, but, like, there was, like, just weird stuff that was cut out, but, like, uh, Stark and I, my friend, who's, like, really into anime, mm -hmm. like, we were just, like, sitting down and watching it, and, uh, you know her, uh, the friend who she is, you know, lesbian with, uh, who, yep. but she talks really fast, like, super fast, yes. and you're not supposed yes. to catch everything. Right. That's the point. Like, yes. e even when it's, like, written, you have to, like, pause screen to see everything she's saying. <laughs> Indeed. But that's the point. So they slow it down. They cut out half of, like, almost all of what she's saying. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. They change the, the like, uh, they, they take well-known voice actors and they give, like, the most bland performances I've ever heard even for and they're like amazing voice actors and the uh the suit or, or her her clothing you know how her clothing is like blood the entire time and it's kind of yes. sounds a little demonic and it's supposed yes. to yes um it just sounds kind of mellow uh, like, i mean if you're not too busy i could use it no not even it, like <laughs> uh, it is, uh, What's-His-Face from Outlaw Star. Um, what? the main character, Suzuka? Gene. Suzuka? The, the, the samurai, or what? The, the main character from Outlaw Star. Gene Starwin? Yeah, it's that guy's voice actor. And oh, he's it's, a voice actor, too. And, yeah, he's great, and it's, so it's literally him just being like, Hey, so, yeah... Blood. And it's like, you're just listening to it, and you're like, you fucking... You're better than this. You, well, and it's like, you ruined the character. And, it, um... The teacher, who, like, uh, nudist... Who teacher, keeps stripping and stuff, yeah. Who, like, is... <laughs> like, he's supposed to be, like, all smooth and debonair yeah. and everything. Yeah. And, like, he's not trying to sleep with her, but that's just the way he sounds. And, yes. like the way that, like, he poses every five seconds... Yes. That's not the way the dub comes off. Ah. Uh, like, they... I really hate it when they miss the point. You you really need to watch it, and it's literally... Uh, what was it? Um, oh, yeah, it was... It was just... Aw like, you watch it, and it's just like, you fucking missed the point of all of this. Is that only, like, Adult Swim or something? Yeah, that's how I saw it. Okay. We also saw uh, DBZ. The reason I bring that up is we saw DBZ, um, what the fuck? Uh, Kai. Dragon Ball Kai. Oh, man, fuck Kai. Well, here's the thing that we were, like, instantly confused on Kai with was, uh, why didn't they just get the same voice actors? Almost all of them are still in the fucking industry. Yeah, you do wonder about that sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying that, like, a redo is not is a bad thing. Like, when they remastered Akira and they got new voice actors, it was amazing. Well, yeah. they got, like, Johnny Young Bosch and, like, top fucking names. But, like, that is not always the case. Well, you know, they, they, pronounce people, they pronounce people's names right. And, like, they didn't alter the fucking script anymore. Um... And like, it, watch it. What when? If you go and watch, you can watch both Akira's back to back. They're different fucking movies. Yes, yes, they are. Um, it's weird though. Like, oh, fucking hit me twice, twice in a fucking row with that same attack. Uh, I don't yeah, even, that super move that Frieza does. That thing kills. I don't even know how that's fucking possible that he can just do it twice in a row. Yeah, and like, it's bullshit. And I try to get out of the way, and it's just like... no. Because I don't think it's an ultimate. I think it's just his super. So if he has, like, two banks, he's got it. 
which is kind of retarded and broken. And it's like unblockable. Like you just have to fucking dodge. Get yeah. the fuck out of it. That's the only reason. Actually, his ultimate form is so much worse. He's got an attack that I think is both not dodgeable and unblockable. Like it's I think it's his I hope it's his ultimate. Uh and it's in when he's in his final form, you will see it. And it sucks. Oh, he lot. does it that much? Oh yeah. It's dark purple and it just I've never been able to avoid it. Not once. Maybe if you're really far away and you're already moving, maybe. But man, that shit homes in on you and it just fucks you up. So, so I, just, uh, I just stayed away and did like keep I don't know if it was from the manga or what, but supposedly uh, at one point um, Goku said when he went Super Saiyan, he knew that he was stronger than Frieza. Like I he think could so have, too. He could have ended I think I read it. That. He could have ended it at any moment then. Oh yeah, he absolutely could. He wanted Frieza to become as powerful as he was to like uh He wanted him to, to suffer. Him feel bad. Yeah. To make him like uh not deter him basically, but yeah, but basically yeah. To make him feel the pain that he had put everyone else through or something. Right. And to see how powerless he really was against his system. Yeah. Which is frankly like the meanest thing that Goku's done in Ever. a while. Well, yeah, but in, in in Goku's fucking defense, like Frieza did annihilate his entire race and kill his friend in front of him. Uh, friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me try that again. His entire species and planet. No, you can't say that. You cannot say that because uh, he doesn't know that though. Like he didn't. He's not Vegeta. He didn't grow up on that planet. He didn't have a father that was killed directly in front of him. You know. So it, can you really feel the same way if it, you were never part of that culture? You were never part of that at all. And frankly, the Saiyans were pretty evil fuckers to begin with. So I, I don't know how I'd feel about that. But killing Krillin, uh, right, like five seconds before this happened, yeah, that's not good. That's that would have way more effect, I think, on Goku than anything else. Like, hey, that friend that I've had my entire life—that's my best friend. Krillin right? was an asshole for a really long time. Yes, but like, in kind of for- a they're just kids way. Oh no, that's the attack! Oh! Well, you only got like the edges of it and it didn't follow up because Piccolo got in his way. That was good. That was good. Piccolo, you saved his And my, saved my attack is so fucking high that fight was almost <laughs> immediately over. I can't believe you dumped him onto a basic attack and then it actually works this way. Like it scales. Yeah. It really shouldn't. <laughs> Doesn't it make you feel stupid? A little, because I was trying to be all balanced and shit, and because frankly, I wanted to dump it all into key blast. But people can block key blast super easy and avoid them. And I now you're just a, a super easy to dodge. Yeah, and now you're just like, ugh, fucking hell. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. A little well, annoying. Not gonna lie. Well, I'm just like sitting there when I'm making the character, and I'm like, ah, what's my fighting style? Up close and personal. Okay, saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what are, how am I literally going to play this game? I'm literally going to get up there, learn, like, three combos, and bash the shit out of things. All right, I'm going to break this game now. Actually, there's even a worse combo. If you do, like, X, Y, 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 and then when you pop them up, if you aim up and hit X to follow up quickly, you can literally make a never-ending combo. It's kind of broken. <laughs> so... Krillin hasn't died yet. Uh, yet. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's in his ultimate form, but Goku's still around. He's fighting him for the first time. Yeah, Krillin's still around. I thought he, he impaled. Will not be for long. I thought he impaled Krillin on his fucking horn. Right, but then Dende healed him. Oh. Oh, I dodged that fucking blast you were talking about. Yep. It's tough, though. Like, uh, like the last time Piccolo saved your ass, I don't know. No, I just dodged it. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> but, like, I was already moving. Like, it, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't fucking intentional. Well, it was close, too. I just saw it. <laughs> it was close. You also did a thing. You also got closer to him and made, like, a right angle to it. That was probably why it worked. I don't think you can beat it long range because you have, you know, less 
angle of attack, but you were close, so you just did a right angle to it, and that worked. So I'll have to try that for next time. You know, I haven't seen a beam battle in the game yet, and I kind of think that's too bad. Like where if your if your beams meet perfectly in in the middle, and then you have to do like a button mash to to see who wins. That is so exciting to do that on like Budokai Three. I've done the punch battle, but that's stupid. But that you... never it never goes anywhere. No, when you it just always ends up as a tie. Yeah, always. Which is dumb. I think it should be like a um, you know a button mash, and then you, and then like oh he lost, then you can follow up and do another combo. Doesn't Krillin have to cut off his tail first? Um, that was well, no, he because he, he did that in second form, and in this in this timeline, he goes straight for some reason. He goes straight from first form to final form in one shot. Wait for it, stupid monkey! Filthy monkeys! Oh, right in the chat. Piccolo got nailed. Yeah, does did he kill Piccolo there? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Even though, why does no one realize that if you kill Piccolo, the Dragon Balls would go away? Like, nobody gets that. Nappa kills Piccolo, and like, oh, by the way, I guess I fucked up and the Dragon Balls are gone. Oh, well, we just wasted, like, a four-month trip coming here. Thanks a lot, Nappa. And then, like... <laughs> When he's on Namek, he's just killing Namek's left and right. He literally takes out the entire civilization and species. And then, like, oh, wait, by the way, uh, the Dragon Balls are gone. Because uh, Guru died. Well, wait, his tail's <laughs> cut. Yeah, because uh, they're, they're kind of skipping second and third form for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, Goku does a fuck ton of damage to to Frieza, as you might imagine. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I'd fucking like to hope. <laughs> does he do as much as I am? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I just wear. I just noticed you're not. You don't have foot armor on. Nope. Why? Uh, because none of the foot armor. Every all of the foot armor reduces attack. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid that like it's pure physical and it's like it works so well. Yeah, dude. Like, I, why is he not blocking? I know these sons of bitches block. They, they do block all the time. They do, and I just keep punching through it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a problem? Punch it through. Punch yeah, it through. <laughs> no, you're overthinking. You, punch, you're punch, you're, punch. you are literally overthinking video games. <laughs> <laughs> because liter probably what happened is they said it's like because I thought it would be like oh no well clearly that's not gonna work like we're well gonna... they probably <laughs> said like this block has like x amount of fucking hit points before it breaks yes so my punch does you know x times thirty well I thought that it, it they they wouldn't have an HP block you know for the block and that you had to do the long Y to do the block breaker. You yeah, know, that makes sense to me. Like, oh, okay, you can't just, you know, ground and pound this whole time. You have to actually fucking think it through and do a, a long no, that's block, silly. Hard that's, break that's, and then follow up. No, that's just ridiculous. Now you're just being <laughs> stupid. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm clearly overthinking this. This is quite true. Oh, this is bullshit. You have five minutes left and forty episodes. It wasn't that bad. It was close, but... It was pretty close to that. I'll have to do the math, but it's pretty fucking bad. Because then, like, I think it's 13 episodes later, he's like, you have two minutes left. I'm like, you don't know how to tell time. <laughs> Clearly, uh, this whole... The translation's getting mixed up, because uh, minutes do not mean that. Also, you never know what they could mean on that fucking planet. Like, space minutes apparently are different. The Mechi minutes, not the same. You don't know. They could be entirely fucking different. Also, I'm pretty <laughs> sure my punches are doing more damage than Goku's. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it does. <laughs> but, like, uh, Goku's Kamehameha is nasty. Yeah, it's still doing more damage. You're resting in lava. I just want to throw that out there. You landed in... Look at that fucking Kamehameha! That is nice. 
God damn it, I want to be a Super Saiyan. But I think I, I looked it up, and uh, Goku only becomes you can only become Goku's mentor at like level seventy. Really? Yeah, he is super late game. And you have to, like, beat the Android Saga. Like, the whole thing. Like, you really need to haul ass to, to be a mentor. A mentee, I guess. It's kind of... It's really weird. Like, everybody has a certain level uh, that you need to be to, to do the mentor thing. But holy shit. Seriously? Like, level 70? Yeah. I've been playing for hours and hours, and I'm still... Maybe level 25? It's not fucking wow. I mean, holy shit. Well, I guess it kind of is wow. They're making this into an MMO, basically. Yeah. I feel like I should buy it for real, though, because, like, I really want to do those online quests. <laughs> They're the same thing. I know, but you can have, like, people go with you who who are, like, friends, and then... Or just do, like, a party. Which I think is kind of awesome that you can do that. Like, that's a thing. Oh, Supreme Kai of time. You're adorable. Yeah. Are and somehow wa- smart. Are, are, I love that bit where he's like, she's an important person. <laughs> and then the owl lands on her head. <laughs> that was awesome. Are you watching uh, Maria the Virgin Witch? No. Uh, she sort of reminds me of that. Pretty good? Uh, yeah. I, I'm i pretty sure, I haven't looked it up, but I'm almost positive just by the feel and the character animation, it's done by the people who did Slayers. Oh, I did like Slayers. It has that... Although ex- that one woman with the most world's most annoying laugh ever. Naga. Oh, God, that was the most annoying laugh. It was supposed... <laughs> It was supposed to be. I realize that, but, like, they, they just overused that so bad. Also, she was only ever in the OVAs. That's the only ones I watched. Oh. No, the TV series is so much better. Good, because I'll have to check that out, because that's all I was, you know, I was kind of, I was not super in anime by the time, and I had a friend who got me into it. God, I feel, it sounds like a drug when I say that. Actually, it kind of is kind of like a drug. Anime, yeah, yeah. It's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, parallels there. <laughs> oh boy, Guido wants to be my fucking. Oh, Zico. No, yeah, uh, he never... Gildo oh. or whatever. Oh, uh, uh, Goldo. Guido. Yeah. What? No, I'm just gonna no, call him Guido. Goldo. I'm just gonna call him oh. Guido. You racist. Yep. <laughs> I'm Goldo. I can freeze time, and I'm a psychic. Woo! That sounds awful. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, who the fuck? Maybe the stop time thing? Maybe. Maybe. But even that is like, eh, no. What I think is interesting is that even though we're doing an offline play, they have those dynamically generated characters that makes it feel like you're actually online. Yeah. I think that's cool. And they're always different. Like, the weird thing is, is that the names seem to change. The names don't change. And, like, the character conversations never change. But the outward appearance always does. And there, a lot of them are, like, basic rip-offs of, of, real, of real characters. Like, I've seen Supreme Kai, like, an exact duplicate, like, four times. <laughs> and, like, I saw a direct rip of Videl. Like <laughs> several <laughs> fucking time. times. Yeah, it was just like, oh, okay, you have you've lost you've lost your originality here. <laughs> I don't do the evades like ever for the ultimates. I think I did like the back jump like once by accident. Oh, what are you getting at clothing? Uh anything Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, you, I know you don't care about Keyblast Supers, so there you go. Let's see if there's any shoes. Do a right button. Go to feet. <laughs> Look at all that sense I'm making. Aww. 
Oh, there you go. The demon battle suit. Yeah, some of these are ones that I really want because I think they look cool, but they're terrible stats for me. Can you force white? Eh, nah. That doesn't look that cool, but it probably is great for stats. That's not bad. I guess you don't care about your key blast supers. No. Which is silly. You're playing a DBZ game. For fuck's sake. That's literally all they do. That's all they should do, because like every fight ever ends in that. Like almost never is it just some last punch. Except for that like dragon punch that Goku magically fucking made up in the movies. Yeah, one time. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he does it in GT. Although I know GT is like complete bullshit. And not canon. You're a canon. I am. Ask all the ladies. But I'm boom. Bazinga! You should stop talking. <laughs> Let's see, what is this guy, like Goku's regular, you know, training gi? What does that do? Uh, nothing much. Eh. That sucks. Raditz, well, doesn't Raditz uh, do... It's all Raditz right. is get up. I thought it did pretty good for uh, stamina and basic attack. I thought that's what you wanted. I am equipping Ginyu Force everything. <laughs> Full Ginyu Force. Yep. Gonna do that super move where it's a pose? Uh, yes. <laughs> Terrible. You have orange boots, and that's weird. Uh, I disapprove greatly. Eh, no one really cares what you think. They care what I say, and I'm saying it to your face. To nope. your virtual face. Nope. To your character's face. Nope. <laughs> uh, have you done the mixing thing yet? No. I don't really get it. I don't know where to get all these items. There we I go. Mean, I a shit ton of materials, and like none of them mix, apparently. Alright. Let's change that equipment. King Cole's largest force. The Ginyu Force. All right, I'm ready. So <laughs> Kick ass and take names. Deal with it. You should wear sunglasses and be like, deal with it. You get to deal with it, soul. Oh no, I I've actually totally <laughs> worn sunglasses this entire game. I know. I think that's awesome. <laughs> That's actually, why you, you look exactly like young Roshi. That's why, like, it screamed young Roshi to me. Although you have a kind of Yamcha hair. Awesome. Yamcha's the worst. He's the Raditz of, of the good guys. Aww. They pull I, a Yamcha. I wouldn't be that mean to him. <laughs> he died right away! Uh, yeah. Like, he didn't even fight the Saiyans. You can't even say he fought the Saiyans. He didn't even get that far. <laughs> you know? You know, Tien had a battle. You know, he lost an arm. And then he put everything into that last shot. And he lost his friend and all this stuff. Uh, what did Yamcha do? He fucking died because a Cyberman got him. He didn't even fight Nappa or Vegeta. Yeah, and what does Krillin do? Cry in a corner. No, he doesn't. Well, he does. You know, I'm not saying he does a whole lot, but a he takes out like three Cybermen in one shot. Which where the fuck was he hiding that shit? Two, he develops the Kienzan and tries to take out Nappa. Scars him on the cheek. This is all he does, unfortunately. 
three, he bounce, he uses a spirit bomb, fails, but sets up the Wait, right bounce. When does, when does Krillin learn the spirit bomb? No, he uh, Goku transfers the last the spirit bomb's energy to Krillin. Krillin throws it, misses. Of which, course. How the fuck? Um, because like you know, Vegeta can't sense energy, so I don't know how you saw that coming from behind him. Aren't, but, uh, aren't you, like, not supposed to overuse a spirit bomb because it can drain the souls or something? Yeah, it drains the energy of the of all living beings. Like, and even, like, when they're trying to take out Boo, and they don't have enough energy, but she was like, I don't fucking care! Just take it, whatever you need. If a couple of them die, who gives a shit? He's sort <laughs> of right. I know, right? Like, hey... There's, like, you know, seven billion people on the Earth. Uh, you know, if, like, a tenth of a hundredth of a percent die, yes, that's a lot of well, people. It, like, but the grand things is not. Well, it, it was, like, what What was it, like, Hercule asked him, asked the people of Earth to, like, yeah. donate their energy so it's the first true spirit bomb or some bullshit? Yes, exactly. That's why, that's why the only reason... That's the first time the spirit bomb has ever worked. Ever. Uh, supposedly when he uses it against Frieza, like, it does hit Frieza. Well, it does hit him, but it doesn't take him out or kill him or anything. Yeah, but it's that was sort of the end of Frieza. Not really. He kills Krillin right after that. Y yeah, but he wasn't the same. Like, he wasn't as powerful. You say that, and then he reaches full power. Remember, he's only at, like... Not even fifty percent when he when that happens. I don't know. So like, <laughs> doesn't work. Pisses him off, and he kills Krillin in retaliation. You know, everyone kills Krillin eventually. Well, all right, you got a point there. I'm sure Videl kills Krillin at some point by accident. I th I think if he goes to the afterlife one more time, he gets like a free Sunday. Yeah. No, that's he's Goku. Got, he's got a punch card. Now. He's got a punch card. Uh, yeah. And so does uh uh. Shit. Goku. Uh, uh, Chiaotzu. Goku would have a fucking punch card. No, Chiaotzu's died twice. Yeah, Goku's died like 80,000 fucking times. They had... <laughs> they... Fucking in the Boo Saga, they had to write a fucking addendum into the plot saying, oh, he gets a 24-hour pass. It's cool. Yeah, that was bullshit. Even, like, even as a kid, I understood. I'm like, I don't get it. I thought... I thought Go I thought Gohan was supposed to be the awesome one now. Oh, nope, you know nope, you know nope. why that happened, right? Oh yeah, no, we talked about that. Like that's total bullshit. Like I know that Toriyama like got pressured into doing it, but now I'm like, you know what? I kind of wish. Money, please. <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> Daddy, money, please. That's exactly basically what happened. <laughs> I can't help but see that girl's face. Money, please. <laughs> That's the, what it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, oh, good attack. That was good. Thank you. I like that little up-close thing where he puts his hand on the stomach and be like, oh, oh, by the way, you're fucked. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're so close! I Get got him. him! I got him. There you go. And you got him with a Gallic gun. Nice. Yeah, that's what you were... That was the mission. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's right. I forgot. This is the one where you have to... You have to finish him this way. Uh, I forget what you get from this. Oh, yeah, you get the shine shot, which is stupid. I mean, it's fast, but it's, like, really dumb. But I really want... I'm uh, still waiting to see the next one, which is his final flash. Which I'm assuming is his ultimate. I don't think you become a Super Saiyan from Vegeta. It's got to be a story thing. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? You got... I, I'm super elite. Uh, yeah, but you also get the shine shot. Uh, no, I just completed that quest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It lowers my stamina, but boosts my fucking 
key blast super way the fuck up. I'll have to get. I'll have to use that one because that's all I do is key blast. I love key blasts. Yeah. And they're crazy useful against Cell and Hercule. So is that all they do for the masters? Is like they give you three quests and they're done. Uh, four, I think. Okay. I kind of want to do Krillin because I want his Kienzan. Meh. Oh, come on. That thing's awesome. Nothing Krillin has ever done is awesome. He cut off the tail this time. They actually made him more important somehow. They not they de-nerfed him. I don't know if it's a thing. They made him regular again. <laughs> Yay! I'm useful now. Quack. I really like the old Vegeta. I think he looks cooler. Why is... Oh, I'm fighting with Frieza. Okay, weird. You're fighting with Frieza? I haven't done this one yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. I have to kill everyone. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you're going to kill Piccolo. Good. There go the Dragon Balls. Good! <laughs> Piccolo's worthless. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I'm fighting with Frieza with fucking <laughs> Vegeta and Goku. <laughs> That's funny. She must catch up, I guess. Ugh, I hate those things. Go, go, go. Goku's fucking killing his son. <laughs> I think that's child abuse. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure 95% <laughs> of the shit that happens in fucking DBZ is child abuse. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. The fucking... Like, all the, all the training with Gohan, all the time, forever. At all times. They fucking trap him in one room for a year. <laughs> yeah, they do. Also, that room has enhanced gravity. Yep. Also, and uh... thin air, and they have to... They have really bad food, because they're the only ones cooking. <laughs> and he gets beaten up every day. And, like, beaten to the, you know, the brink of, uh... Sanity. Death. So that he can become a Super Saiyan. Yep. Thanks, Dad. Kaioken times three. And I went out of my way to buy Kaioken. So, you know. <laughs> I don't. It's too bad they don't, like, uh, you know, let you out, you know, with red flame and all that. You do get a red flame. Yeah, no, for like a second, though. No, it, it stays with you for a while. Oh, all right. Okay. I, get, I guess I didn't see it before. That's much cooler. How long does it last? Uh, 30 to 45 seconds. Oh, that's... Wait, that's fine. That's a bunch of time. Yeah, um... And it's like, there is, like, a dis... Like, your stamina goes way down. Oh. Um, okay. So, so, yeah, it's all attack. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, so it... it Are you doing it, more damage without Kaioken? Maybe. It looks like it, you are, which doesn't make sense. How funny is that? I've broken. <laughs> I've gotten so strong. I broke Kaioken. You did break Kaioken. Maybe I'll just need to Kaioken times ten. Yeah, like when you fought Frieza. Oh, there goes Goku. <laughs> Shit. We should do a Kaioken versus Kaioken. See who's more Kaio is more Ken. Nope. <laughs> wow, so uh, his fully charged fucking uh, Kamehameha fucking apparently attacks behind him as well. Oh, yeah, you know, you can't approach anybody doing a super, like, no matter what. Which is stupid. What is it? You mean? have to attack from a distance. And, it does, and his, uh, his Kamehameha is, does pretty good damage. You, and it's you have to be level seventy before you can even fucking approach him. Yep. I know, right? It's kind of bullshit. 
And, like, I've done the fucking... I'm, like, in the fucking Cell Saga. Well, Android. But Android fucking starts Cell. Are you? I just killed Frieza! Oh, well, yeah. So, yeah, I... I actually just got out of the Cell Saga. Literally. Oh, oh really? Yep. wonder what the max, like, fucking for stat is. I don't know. If 70 is a thing, then your level cap's got to be higher than that. I'm, I'm guessing it would probably be 100. Yeah, that sounds about right. Or maybe the level cap's 70 and, like, he's just the best around. No one ever keep him down? Pretty much. Yeah. Alright, I think that's good for the stream. Alrighty. Alright, uh, so I'm Dan Gilman. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Gilman. You can also find me on MyGamer.com uh, or my personal website, Varms.net. This stream will be posted there and archived there later. Adam? And I'm Adam Starnes, and I'm the new guy at MyGamer. You can find me under the name Grizz on the MyGamer forums. Hope to hear from you soon. No Twitter? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> as Zach would as Zach would say, I guess, uh, game on. Game on.